Sports Real Sports Center, and today we are reacting to the biggest story to society. Went too far when he was told that Little Caesar's pizza was not hot and ready. Pulling an AK-47, he's a monster. He's not. He's not a human being. He's a monster. Drug addict. Psychopath. Mm. Killer. I hate this so much. I hate it. They said wanted. They don't want. Overnight, growing national unrest. What was going on in Miami, bro? They need to stop him. I've talked about childhood books in a past video of mine, where I went over, what do you think? And during the making of that video, I purposely left out a book. A book that I also read during my childhood, specifically third grade. And this book confused me back then, because the kids' books I read were very simple and sweet picture books that would either have a message or show how good and friendly we can be to each other. But only in their universe. That can't exist in ours. And unlike any of those, this book didn't display any of that. Instead, it showed something else. Someone sinister. A person that doesn't kneel to any rules. That book was no David. The main character, David, was a force to be reckoned with. In fact, there is no reckoning. He's an unmovable object, the villain of villains, the evilest evil. Imagine Homelander. There you go. And you might be asking me, oh my God, he looks six. How is he that bad? And two questions like that is why I hate people who judge books by its cover. Okay, maybe you can judge that book, but True. David is a monster. Well, not really because he's a kid, but it's about what he will become in the future. And if you don't remember or know the war crimes this kid committed, I'm going to show you. I've read all eight books of this series, and I will show you all the highlights of him being a clown or a jackass. And I will convince you that he is baby Joker. But let's not be biased. Let me show you the highlights of him being good first, so you can form your own opinion. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to begin with the OG. Chasing that A and want to save time? Grammarly needs editing one click simpler. You know David, and he's already starting off his legacy with killing goldfish. Man, then a snack that smiles back. Why would you kill him? No, David. You see, this story is being seen in his mom's perspective, and it's always her saying, No, David, but just letting him do it. He's okay, reaching for the cookie jar, and you ain't doing nothing. Smack him out the chain. And he trapped doo doo in the house, so he has to take a bath. This is the dirtiest bathwater I've ever seen. Then he goes running out butt ass naked in the street. Like I said, he don't care. He don't care about no rules, no laws. He doesn't care about public indecency. That's just another law he can break. Then he continues to do more nefarious activities. But the worst one was definitely him breaking the face with a baseball bat. This man is doing bad in practice in his own home, deliberately. Look at his face. Look at what he's looking at. He knows what he's doing. And of course, he breaks the base and gets a timeout. Like, that's going to do anything. Then his doormat of a mom sees him with a little sad face and he's like, oh, David, come here. Takes him out of timeout and then says, I love you, David. The end. What? That's it? That's all you're gonna do? He wasn't even punished. She really believed those crocodile tears. He's faking it. He ain't sad because he broke the base. He's sad that he got caught and got in trouble. He ain't sorry. <laughs> this dude intentionally broke the base with murder on his mind. And what the mom does is shrugs it off and hugs him. Yes. That's the only way his evil behind is going to learn. But you rewarded him with your love and affection <laughs> after he broke your great grandma's base and her ashes were in there too? It's crazy, man. I know Ugh. when David is in high school, he's going to be treating his mom like those memes of when you visit your wife. Bro, house. Then come the on. Continues. In the next book, David gets in trouble. Does he not? Big Yo, shot. Real man. We start the book off with this page. I didn't mean to. You're riding a skateboard in your house. What you think was going to happen? Plus, you got that big smile on your face. You meant it. It was an accident. Right, this is the first two pages, and I'm already calling the police on him. I couldn't deal with this kid. This man belongs in June. He ain't normal. And then you have this dude walking to school in his undies. This boy just wants problems. And all the kids are laughing because he's a class clown. David, just be glad you're in elementary school. Because in elementary, everybody will be laughing with you for wearing your undies to school. While in high school, if you did that, everybody's going to make fun of you and bully you for being a clown. But you deserve it. Then we go to class, and he's already starting something. My dog ate my homework. And the side kid laughing like. <laughs> But the girl ain't having none of David's jokes. She giving him the side eye like, this nigga lying. No dog ate his homework. But the thing is, David wasn't lying. Because if what? you look out the window, the dog is there eating his homework. Unbelievable. That's probably the first time he ever told the truth in his life. So you know what David does as revenge to the dog eating his homework? Well, a few pages later, this nigga gone eating the dog food in front of the dog. What a mess. Even the worst villain wouldn't do something so bad. So despicable. Even the dog looking said. at him like, why would you do this? And, and you know what did. David said? He, he said because he got caught. The same hungry. thing the YouTubers who be... You fake upon they ain't no feelings. They ain't no respect. because they, no they, they apologize. This they got boy's not human. He continues to commit acts of terrorism throughout the rest of the book. And by the end of it, his mom confronts him for being a piece of shit. And so David says, I'm sorry. And he's forgiven. Oh. That's it. That's all. That's the end of the book. You know, I'm noticing a pattern here. I'm noticing that no matter what this kid does, he always gets the long end of the stick. He always Get wins. Even when he's wrong, he wins. He's the greatest supervillain of all time. And he's like this in every book. Like, here's him cutting the line. Who do you think he is? Here's him spelling his name with doo doo in the snow. What's wrong with you? And cursing in front of his mom? Kids aren't supposed to be cursing, dumbass. And then he says, Well, dad says it. Well, I might not know your daddy, but I don't think you should be repeating the words he says. And in almost all eight books, he keeps up his behavior with no change. So it ain't even worth going over each book. I'm showing you what he does in each book right now in the screen. He doesn't change. This kid is a criminal, a lawbreaker, a swindler, a rogue good-for-nothing baddie. 
What? And what does he get for it? A to. Merry Christmas. Think he's... Absolutely outrageous. This kid yeah. needs to be apprehended immediately. Because if we keep letting him get away with this, it will be too late. Yeah, in conclusion. Like a mo. Okay. <laughs> David, Joe Ben King Ben Grimm, Okay. <laughs> Damn. And last. Okay. And... Oh, come on. Oh, damn this. No. Oh. Oh, all right. Really? Oh, oh, oh. It hurts. Ah. Yes. I'm going to shoot. Stop. This is the thing that I say. Thank you. Uh, uh. What? A Merry Christmas. Absolutely outrageous. This kid needs to be Like a mop. Like a mop. Like a what? Oh, oh, shit. So, um, yeah, that was the biggest threat to society. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. The social media links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. I'm out. Peace.